and for our health. I'm Sean Williams, and along with Stefan Gates and Nishi Katona, we'll be investigating how the food we buy gets onto our supermarket shelves and the tricks of the trade used to get us to part with our hard-earned cash. How you can save a packet on your weekly shop. Tonight we're in the British really are patriotic about our food. Leave it to be of good quality. And a whopping 93% said they'd be prepared to pay more for a British-made product. But how much do we know about the food that's reared and grown in our own backyard? We can. Hello. Hi. It's the Hex, isn't it? Yes, it Come is. On through. Hi. Thank you. But the admit is not always as easy as it seems. So, Hex family, tell me a little bit about your shopping and eating habits. We don't fresh vegetables and stuff like that. And we do try and cook from scratch as much as we can. And I understand you've got a small holding. At the minute, we've got sheep. Where, it sounds, of where your food comes from, how yeah. it's grown. Mm. Yeah, yes. yeah. Like most of us, the Hex say they want to buy more British food. But how easy is that when shopping at your supermarket? To find, say, from Tesco's. So confusing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's almost whether they're trying to sort of um, mislead you to think it is British when it's not. All the things we need to think about. Yeah. 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 Would you like us to help you to buy British? Absolutely, oh, yes, 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 please. Yes. Yes. Especially after this week. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do it. Because that's, 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 that's... 60, 60%. On the vegetables, the family root for a fairly reasonable 60%. 34 <laughs> So you're far. pretty close, actually. You're not far off. We obviously went. You guessed it. Oh, just 16%. Guess that we're eating a lot of fruit out of season. A billion kilos of the stuff and spent nearly £6 billion pounds on it. Went to find out. From French champagne to Belgian chocolate, there's some food and drink that we can't help thinking they do better elsewhere. A plate that's labelled more saturated fat than the regular version. Yeah, for all very well in theory, but in practice, how easy would it be to do that all year round? Nisha has been to investigate. Million pounds on them. Um, the quality of ready meals has improved markedly over the years, and now there are premium brands which are marketing themselves as a culinary treat. But does paying more mean we get a better, healthier product? Yeah. They've decided the regular has more salt and the premium more fat. Next. Choose that or... Ooh! Good. Oh, you're throwing something new into the game here. <laughs> Can we Can they be even? <laughs> I guess you're splitting your options <laughs> just in case. Find double the amount of saturated fat than in the regular version. Well, that's bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not good, is it? Because that's what I would that's go for. That's why I prefer to buy. Yeah. Adults should have no more. Just going to cross that out and put it firmly here because many of them have higher saturated fat than the regular versions. <laughs> What's your thinking now? <laughs> it's of our British cheeses, and with more than 700 varieties, we're spoilt for choice. Of the EU, do those rules still apply? And does a food taste any better because of where it's made and how it's made? Stefan went to investigate. Experience has transformed what they think about British products. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. 
What have you thought of today? What do you think struck you the most? Well, you can buy, but in fact, it's not. The ready meals for me were probably the most surprising. Just the fat content, how much we actually have without knowing it. So has it changed your shopping and eating habits? I think it will definitely change the shopping habits. Um, I will definitely be uh, scanning the back. And the Somerset Brie, aren't you? I really like the Somerset Brie and definitely like the wine. And the wine. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's Stilton's amazing. It is really.